So today I'm talking about a P0013 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0013 code? Well, it's a B camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically many vehicles nowadays, they have what's called variable valve timing. And this is a really good system. It can help the vehicle get better horsepower at different RPMs. It can improve efficiency and different things like this. But when you get a P0013 code, the computer's seen a problem with this system, mainly with the actuator which are located at the front of the cam. And so it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine's going to have two banks. Bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine and like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you locate the number one cylinder on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there'll only be one bank. And depending on the engine, you can have a single overhead cam or you can have a dual overhead cam engine. So basically a single overhead cam engine is just going to have one cam on each bank of the engine. But when you have a dual overhead cam engine, there's going to be two cams on each bank of the engine. There's going to be an intake cam on the intake side called the A camshaft. And then there's going to be a camshaft on the exhaust side called the B camshaft. And when you get this P0013 code, if you go and locate bank one side of the engine, the B camshaft is going to be located on the exhaust side. And one thing to note whenever you're dealing with variable valve timing is be sure that the oil is at the correct level, that it's not low or anything like this. Also be sure that it's not really dirty because oil flows through all the variable valve timing components and it works from oil pressure. And if the oil's low or if it's really dirty or something like that, they can not throw off these variable valve timing systems. And while this P0013 code does point more to like a wiring or circuit problem going on, just keep in mind that if there is any kind of issue going on with the oil, it can throw this variable valve timing off. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0013 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. If there's anything going on with the variable valve timing wiring, then that's going to cause problems. So you can't go and get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle since there is differences. What's going on with the wiring is going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model, different things like this. But if you could get a wiring schematic for your particular vehicle, you can go through and test it. You could go through and check all the wires going back to the computer. Be sure components are getting voltage, there's good grounds, different things like this. Also be sure to check any related fuses and things along these lines. Because the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem. The next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of issue going on with the actuator, sometimes called a phaser. And this is going to be located directly at the front of the cam. And it's going to be what the timing chain or timing belt is riding on. Oil flows into these actuators and it works off a of pressure coming from that variable valve timing solenoid. And depending on how much oil is going into them and how much oil pressure there is, it can adjust the timing. And so for that reason, the next thing that can cause this is the variable valve timing solenoid going to that actuator. If there's some kind of issue going on with that variable valve timing solenoid, then it's not going to be sending the right oil pressure to that actuator to work properly. If you have a multimeter, you can't go and check the coil or the circuitry that's inside of the solenoid. And basically when you do this, you look up what the rated ohms are for the solenoids on your vehicle. Since again, there can be differences, but say they're rated to be like nine ohms or something like that. So you go and check the solenoid going to that actuator on bank one, camshaft B, and it reads something like 15 or 16 ohms, or it's open and you don't get no reading or something like this, then you know that solenoid's bad and needs to be replaced. So that's one way you can go and test it. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, there's some other ways to go about testing it. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the next thing that could cause this is there's some kind of issue going on with the actuator or phaser or the solenoid that's controlling the camshaft position actuator on bank one camshaft B is having some kind of problems. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0013 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.